Hello beautiful Geminis, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to all of my cross watchers, watchers, subscribers, viewers, and welcome to all new visitors. This is a love reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's for the collective, so everything about the reading uh, will probably not resonate with everyone. Like a buffet table, just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. So we're going to jump in here, and I just want to make one statement for my new viewers. I have a tendency to be very gentle in my delivery. It doesn't mean that I don't see a third-party situation. I absolutely call out every energy that I see, but I do want you to know that I'm just not of that sort of genre of being anything less than gentle and direct. So let's jump into this energy and see what we have and see what your love life, what's happening in the love lives of our Gemini friends for this week. Timeless readings, you will know when they're published, obviously, because there's a timestamp. But in terms of timeless, I simply say it because these are predictive readings and they'll come to pass at different times for each person. Balance, Gemini. So you're in this energy of balance in your love life. It's something that's very important to you. you can, there's a lot of things that you can't see with that energy. You really are using following your intuition. You're in this very spiritual place. You definitely want to be happy. And that looks like no matter what happens in your love life, you've made a determination that you're going to Follow your intuition and make sure that you enjoy happiness every day. Let's see what else we have here. Messages for Gemini, please, Spirit. Messages for Gemini. We have beauty. So we see this beautiful eyelash here. We see a pretty little butterfly for a nose. We see a flower for lips. Right now... You are very much seen by others as being quite beautiful. Your inner beauty, your outer beauty is very charming. And I think that for most of you, you are not really understanding quite that people see you in this almost a halo sort of effect. They see you as a very good person, very kind, very loving. And you are. So... Geminis are much more sentimental. I am a Gemini. Much more sentimental because on for a Gemini rising, everything you value is family, the house of cancer. All right, so let's see what else. One more energy, please, here for our Gemini friends. Let's see, we have acceptance. So something is going on right now in your life, and you're really sort of letting go and letting God. When I look at this energy... We put the three of these together. We really see you being in the energy of, you know, just sort of being your true self. Coming to the table with this gorgeous, gorgeous beauty, inner beauty, shining outwardly. But, you know, when we look at this acceptance, we also see two hands meeting. So it does look like for many of you, you have new love coming in. It could be old love returning, or it just could be a reunion. So we'll see what the cards have to say. So let's look at the mutual energy between you and a love interest in the recent past. So what is a mutual love interest between Gemini and their person in the recent past? King of Wands energy, lots of fiery passion, lots of laughter, lots of love, lots of very open-hearted communications. This is a card of absolute charm, seduction, but it's also very stable. The King of Wands is Leo energy, and it's a fixed energy. So it looks like in the recent past, you and your person have been in a very good place, one that's quite happy. Leo energy is ruled by the, you know, the sun. So it means that there's a lot of vitality, a lot of passion, a lot of joy in this relationship that's express, expressed physically. 
All right. We also have the energy currently. <clears throat> I don't know what is going on with my voice. So sorry. Mercury's retrograde and I'm a double Mercury ruler. Gemini with Virgo rising. <laughs> okay. So the current mutual energy is Queen of Swords energy. Both of you are in this Libra energy trying to stay balanced. It does look like when I look at the Libra Queen looking at the Leo uh, card, I see somebody who looks a little distressed. Now, it is mutual energy, so it looks as though both of you are feeling the stress of a decision having to be made, but there's a communication that didn't go well. I wouldn't say it, you know, it certainly needs to be more balanced, and both of you want to balance it out. Your person sees the way forward. They see the situation currently as a win for them. Six of Wands. They see you as you know, a conquest in some ways, but they feel quite confident that whatever's going on, that they will prevail in this situation. But with that Queen of Swords, it's, it's, there's something a little bit, a little bit difficult here. Sword, she's holding a big sword looking at this, this king. So both of you are sort of looking at the joy of the relationship and trying to decide, is it worth it? Your person certainly has decided it's worth it. The Six of Swords energy is about healing, and it shows that they think that you're trying to move forward in your life. Your person feels very much. The Six of Swords energy is also that you may be thinking about moving. So your person is in this sort of energy of being uncertain. Six of Swords energy is the energy of Aquarius. They feel as though you're trying to be very detached. They feel as though you're trying to detach from them. I see this almost more as your energy, not because it's Libra, technically, but it looks as though you really, there's a part of you that your person think, thinks would like to move on away from them. Okay, so why? what do they feel in their heart space? What does this person feel in their heart space? Wheel of Fortune. They're a little bit sort of willing to let fortune's fate sort of take, well, they feel lucky, so they feel that they're going to win. They feel lucky to have you. How they view the future, we see a, a marriage card here. Marriage is happily ever after. So this person, if you are in a situation, for those who might be, in which you are with somebody who is married to someone else. It looks like they're just going to let fate take its course. If they are not married to someone else, the path forward with you is a very happy, lovely, enriching, satisfying Piscean energy of love, in which happiness is the most important factor. What is hidden in this energy between the two of you? Queen of Pentacles energy. The energy, we call it the mommy card, but it's Saturn energy, Capricorn queen. Both of you are very serious about your careers. I get the energy here that, oops, a daisy. Okay. The energy is coming in here is that both of you are very nurturing your careers. You do nurture each other. You might work together. You may have worked together in the past. We see the energy that's very sweet, kind, loving. It's the soft side of the Queen of Pentacles. So it does mean that both of you really are very solid for one another. The feelings that you have for each other have not gone anywhere at all. So let's see what we have here for Spirit's message for you. Four of Swords, you need to recover. Whatever was spoken up here, whatever lack of communication there was, we do have that spirit is saying both of you need time to rest. That's taking time out to meditate, to rest, to heal your bodies. I feel as though many of you have been on the go a lot. So let's see what your outcome is for the short term in this relationship. We're going to clarify, of course, and if it resonates, there will be an extended. So let's see what we have. Three of Pentacles for you. Three of Pentacles energy. 
is the energy of wanting to work on things but feeling as though the coins are falling out of the bag feeling as though the two of you are you're going through a rough patch three of pentacles is a very very good energy it's a, the energy of collaboration but there's almost this wheel of fortune is turning in your person's favor so it does look as though they feel that the relationship is going to move forward that they will be victorious very interesting energy though let's go ahead and clarify this the energy for mutual uh, love is this king of wands so tell us more about this energy spirit please both of you are very reliable to each other and your passion is very stable you're fiercely um, protective of one another also innocence of wands so the communication has been a little bit too too lightweight is what i'm getting the page of wands is throwing caution to the wind so i definitely feel as though in the recent past the two of you have but pages are you know they're just out there having fun let's see what else we have the nine of coins okay so there is a single person here whether it's you or them um, you could both be single, but both of you are very focused again. Virgo energy, you're very, very focused on your money, on your career. You know, the relationship that the two of you have is very sturdy. So it looks like it's kind of a little catch as catch can with that page of wands as to when you see each other. Why is the Libra queen here, the universe? There's a desire that both of you have to expand forward financially and in your careers. So both of you are very focused on nurturing not only your personal lives, but also this relationship and a career. But the universe card says that there is a major transition in this relationship going on, leveling up to have a more extensive, you know, more important relationship in which you know you could develop into this happily ever after energy uh, but it also is you know uncertain the wheel of fortune says that it can go either way so let's see what else we have here there we go twin flame wow twin flame energy you're all very familiar with it it is the energy of having to come together or needing to, or wanting to come together in this lifetime after many lifetimes of not being able to manifest the relationship. Twin flame energy is a very, um, a very sacred journey. It's not an easy journey, but, the, but both of you, it's basically not being able to really let go of each other. And yet, you know, you have this deep love. Look at this butterfly. It changes both of you profoundly. It's growing. So it looks as though there's a very strong recognition uh, by you and your partner that this is a very special relationship that really no other relationship in your life is going to be like this. The Six of Wands, why does your person feel victorious? Why does your person feel victorious? The moon card. The moon card is that which is hidden. The moon card, you know, it's it's like trails. It's like uh, things that go bump in the night, things that scare you, things that you can't see clearly. Very Neptunian energy. The Empress card. So what you can't see is that there's an empress in the picture here. What this person's trying to hide is that there's an empress. For some of you, this is how they view the situation with you. And they aren't telling you. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting that they feel like there's, you know, that you treat them like a million bucks even when you get annoyed with them. The Queen of Swords says to me that you, you were really annoyed with this person most likely. And the moon card says that you're their empress. They see the relationship with you as a victory. They feel as though, you know, you are their happy place, nine of cups. You're their wish fulfillment. So your person feels totally whatever's going on here. 
they seem to be willing to just ignore whatever words were said. So if there were any stressful comments made in a recent conversation, it looks like your person sort of just, I wouldn't say they blow them off. I think that they take them to heart, but the moon card says that they may just, what will they do with that moon card? Yeah, they do feel like they got punched there a little bit, punched in the head. We look, it's like a cartoon character. Hanged man. They're trying to figure out where you were coming from. The death card. They're wondering if you have decided to end the relationship. The strength card says that they're not going to really agree to it, right? Strength card is also Leo energy. So you may be dealing with somebody who has a Leo rising, moon, Venus, sun in their charts. And it looks as though this person is simply going to text you when they think things are calmer. All right, so the energy here of Six of Swords moving forward. Your person wants to get this whole thing out of trouble, and so do you. Both of you, I think part of what's going on here is that you're missing one another, and the physical aspect of the relationship looks like it has not enjoyed any free time. All right, the Ace of Cups. Your person really does see you as very loving, as somebody who wants to make love all night long to them and they feel very much that you're in the energy of needing to move forward like you're just not a person gemini who stays static you know for you life is always moving forward you're ruled by mercury you know the messenger getting messages messages every day okay what do we have here for the wheel of fortune why does this person feel so lucky justice card they feel as though they're lucky that they have this balance. The Justice card is uh, Libra energy. You know, that's oftentimes the Libra Venus. But your person feels, you look at that, the Wheel of Fortune, and then the Justice card. So they may have had good luck in a lawsuit, but they also feel as though they have good luck in terms of you. That, you know, at the end of the day, they can always be rational with you and that you're going to respond well to that. We have the Ten of Cups. The Death card is on the Ten of Cups. The Innocence of Cups and the High Priestess. That's how your person views the situation with you. Mm. They're not telling you something about perhaps a child or a marriage or actually when we got the card in here, there may be a situation in which a person could be getting a divorce. I'm, you know, I'm not really seeing the classic third party energy here, but you know, it happens. It gets tucked away sometimes because that justice card in the wheel of fortune, your person's moving very slowly towards the energy towards you to have good fortune in legal matters with you up to, you know, and those are things like getting married, living together, getting a divorce. Whenever I get the justice card and the judgment card in one reading, it is almost always something that your person is considering, you know, and I feel like they're staying silent, but I definitely think that there are children involved. So there is some sort of energy going on here that maybe your person is going through um, a legal situation. So let's see here, what do we have for the Queen of Pentacles? Six of Cups, both of you want to see each other. That is loving each other. It's Scorpio love. It's very intense love. It speaks to the fact that both of you try to see each other in the near future, it looks like. Six of Cups is, you know, when we get Scorpio energy. It's oftentimes like a Scorpio moon or, you know. Let's see what we have here, Three of Swords. There's, there's what's hidden between the two of you is that there is heartbreak due to a third party. Okay. So what we're seeing here is your person's really not talking about the mother of their children if they're married. I think that this would not be a big secret. I really feel as though you would know if this person was married. I don't see any big secret in that regard. But the Three of Swords says what's hidden is that there's heartbreak because you haven't seen each other and both of you want to see one another. Tell us why the Three of Swords is here. Please clarify the Three of Swords. 
What is, is there a third party here? Eight of Cups, a walk away. So is this walk away from Gemini? Temperance card. No, I'm not seeing it that way. So I'm getting the energy here that behind the scenes, your person is dealing with a lot and that there is a desire to, for them to walk away from a third party and come to you and reconcile with you. They want that energy with you. That's the hidden energy between the two of you. A lot of love there. Okay. What do we have here for the Four of Swords for our beautiful Gemini friends? Four of Swords for Gemini. Why does Spirit recommend that you rest and relax and recuperate? Four of Swords. Five of Cups. You've been, this has been, this has certainly taken a toll on you. Whatever's going on in this situation is making you feel really sad and heartbroken. And we're seeing the energy that you're all up in your head and spirit is saying that you need to heal. Take a break. Stop thinking about this. Get out of your head. And what? Yep, Ten of Coins. Okay. Spirit has a profoundly good message for you. Spirit is saying basically, Gemini, that you have to just go forward in your life. You cannot think about or focus on this person and what they're doing. Because right now, they're not really giving you what you need. And it has you up in your head. You're really feeling sad. But what Spirit is saying to you is Ten of Coins, legacy relationship, that's marriage, that's commitment. Legacy relationship is coming your way. And that is a relationship in which you will share the goals with another and with your lover. Four of Swords, again, healing. M go make money. Go do something different. Innocence of Pentacles. Focus on your life. Focus on the small things. Get in shape. You know, watch what you're doing. Get yourself healthy. The outcome card is the Three of Pentacles, and that is collaboration. The Ace of Swords is here. So both of you have a lot of clarity at this time that there is a battle going on. Five of Swords, some old negative energy. Five of Swords is also really feeling um, with clarity that somebody's really not being all that kind. We get the Movement of Wands. Okay, I don't like to see that card. That's player energy coming in and out, all about the passion, Noth nothing about really being as focused on you as they should be. We get the spirit of cups, but then this person loves you. They're mature, they know what they want, but we do get that Scorpio King, very balanced in love energy. Doesn't matter masculine or feminine, but they've chosen you as their person they would really like to marry you, but we get somebody here who, what's the Pop of Swords about? Two of Coins, they're juggling you. They know they're juggling you. And it looks as though they love you, you're their person, but it looks as though right now they're in this energy of feeling very compelled to have to do something financially, legally, monetarily to get through a period of time in which they're going to be moving forward. So I'm going to go to the extended here for those of you that this resonates with. And we're going to look at your person's thoughts, feelings, uh, actions, intentions, and actions, what they like best about you, and what you can expect from them in the near future with a Celtic cross, okay? So I'm going to leave it there, Gemini. Thanks so much for joining me. Please, if this resonated, like, subscribe, share, and comment. Tell me where you're from. I'm broadcasting from Chicago, and I so appreciate your time. Thank you. Bye-bye.